So with the runner in scoring position at second base and one away in the inning, it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Pinch hitting for the Phillies. Number 17, Eddie. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Find the ball, find the ball. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great now A.B., back. first pitch no hack, and he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get, and, boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. One there, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Matt Cronin will come on to make his 40th appearance. Not a lot of fireworks, but that narrows the candidate list for our top player of the game. And the man you see here was a key contributor, so he takes it home in this one. He was one of a few guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits. He helped propel his team to a hard-fought win. 3-2 to two, the finish in tonight's game. Our the Phillies came tonight. through when it mattered the in the ninth Philadelphia on the way Phillies. to the win. Three runs on nine hits. One error, they left four men on base. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Diego Padres and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Spencer Howard, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So a man at third here with two gone, and that'll bring in Manny Machado. Manny Machado. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out. We're back now as the Phillies prepare for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course, plenty of guys that can go deep and drive it. Digging in for his now second at-bat, at Eddie no James, field. and he's the reigning Eddie. recipient of the National Eddie. League's Player of the Month Award. Line drive to center field. Grisham makes the catch to end the inning. Into the box now, Eddie James, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't matter what side the plate this guy bats from. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. That's lifted the other way out to left. James is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Now batting, Eddie now batting. James. He'll no swing it from the left side right Eddie. here. 
going back to that last AB, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. The relay, and he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. But baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question. He's swinging now the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Whoa. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Now batting, right fielder. Stepping in, Ray. Trey Mancini. And Man. he's got an opportunity to turn this narrow lead into a wide one if he can cash in here. Ball and field. that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And this is a great example of what happens when you can't find the strike zone. The first walk of the inning looked harmless enough, but this one brings a runner home. Self-inflicted wounds are always the hardest to swallow. Now at the plate, Austin Allen. And he's got an oh, opportunity to add to this lead, but the double play is Austin. in order. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. I'm really impressed by that strikeout, and I'll tell you why. He should have gotten the call on the pitch before, and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases loaded situation, that can drive now a guy batter. nuts, drive First you crazy. What I love is he didn't let him take him out of his game, and he came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. A really nice job of taking. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. Philadelphia wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Christopher Sanchez wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Kyle Bearclaw wraps it up for the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Aaron Nola gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Now at the plate, Eddie James. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. Grisham is camped under this one as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Phillies down in order. We are still scoreless. Digging in now for San Diego, Luis Camposano. And he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. So one away in the inning, and it's time to check out the standings in the National League East to see where the Phils find themselves entering play today. Digging in, Eddie James. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certain. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field, but it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. And the run will score as the Phillies are off to a one nothing lead. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, he seems like he takes advantage of it. Great example there. 
So striding forward now, now Alec Bohm. The third baseman. Third baseman. Alec Bohm. Runner, runner. runner breaks for third. Hit on the Come ground on, to third. Out, get out, get Machado out. has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Digging in now, Kevin Newman. Now batting the second baseman, Kevin Newman. Now the three and two pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Eddie James. He's coming off a month in which he earned National League Player of the Month recognition. There's one. Beat it out. Beat it out. Beat it out. first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So no runs on two. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. First delivery to him on the way. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. A solo shot here to left as they've taken a one-run lead. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that one. So we witnessed a close one here, but this man was a big factor in the outcome, so we're inclined to pencil him in as the tops player of the game. Yeah, he really made it happen with the bat in this one. You see here two hits, and one was a long ball, so he has to feel pretty good about what he did here. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Phils came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Our final Kyle Bearclaw.